Title, From Here to Everwood, Treat William's Final Ride on Vermont Route 30. TL, DR, Iconic Actor Treat William's Unfortunate Demise Linked to a Fateful Crash in Vermont. Vermont Man Faces the Music as He's Charged Over the Collision. But, Who's Really to Blame? On that fateful day in June, the roads of Dorset, Vermont witnessed a tragic end to a star-studded life. Treat Williams, the heartthrob known for roles in films like Hair and the TV series Everwood, had his last ride on his vintage 1986 Honda VT700C motorcycle. But was this just another accident, or a series of unfortunate events culminating in a tragic outcome? Weaving through Vermont Route 30, William's two-wheeler adventure took a drastic turn when 35-year-old Ryan Cost decided to steer his 2008 Honda Element into a parking lot. This move caused Williams, who was cruising on his bike, to collide with the SUV. Like a scene from one of his movies, Williams found himself airborne, eventually landing with a thud that would mark the end of his journey. But why? Couldn't Cost see the gleaming motorcycle of the Hollywood star? State troopers said Williams, despite his protective helmet, couldn't dodge the impending doom. And though swiftly airlifted to Albany Medical Center in New York, the weight of severe trauma and significant blood loss became too heavy a burden. The investigation further revealed, it wasn't just the collision but the subsequent aftermath that proved fatal. Vermont State Police confirmed that the ultimate cause of death was the intense trauma and bleeding from the crash. But hold on a second isn't it everyone's responsibility on the road to ensure safety? Ryan Koss, who walked away from the crash unscathed, was quickly enveloped by the long arm of the law. Erica Marthage from Bennington County State's attorney took it upon herself to ensure that Koss would face his alleged negligence. Following the citation, Koss stepped up, voluntarily meeting with troopers, and is now awaiting his day in court on September 25th. But, where does the line between accident and negligence blur? And are our roads truly safe for everyone, celebrity or not? And while the debate over road safety and accountability continues, let's not forget William's illustrious career that spanned decades. His outstanding performance as George Berger in the 1979 film Hair earned him a Golden Globe nomination. And, not to mention, his memorable portrayal as Dr. Andrew Brown in Everwood got him two SAG Award nominations. Disclaimer, this report does not provide any recommendations or legal advice. For any actions or decisions made after reading this article, readers are advised to consult appropriate professionals. Final question, in this age of fast cars and faster lives, is it time for a renewed focus on road safety, or should every individual take the wheel of responsibility? What's your take?